Hello family, today we're looking at another exciting job opportunity. The title or the designation of this job is Fraud Investigator. Fraud Investigator. So we're going to be looking at the company, we're going to be reviewing the company, we'll review the job duties, we're going to review the job description, we're going to look at the salary. This job pays about $64,000 a year. All right. So we're going to be looking at your resume. How can you have a good resume that will get you this job? And we're also going to work on the interview skills that will help you nail this job. All right. I know you're excited as I am. Let's dive straight into it and take a look at this. Now we're looking at fraud investigator from htlf bank that's the name of the bank and like i said the target salary is about sixty four thousand dollars this job is 100 percent remote okay uh, this is the company right here htlf bank you can see illinois remote uh, wisconsin remote california remote texas remote they only added a time zone with which they would want you to work. So anywhere you are in the country, anywhere you are in the United States, you can actually apply for this role. Now let's take a look at HTLF. HTLF is an equal opportunity employer committed to creating diverse workforce. We consider a qualified applicant without regard to race. Like I always say, it's important that you read about the company, you read about the job. All right, so let's take a look at what they have here this is another very important area that you need to take um, very seriously it says as a fraud investigator with htlf bank you will leverage your experience in financial crimes fraud and customer reaction to independently conduct investigations to identify assess decision and report on exposure and losses to financial institutions uh, shareholders and customer by applying fact finding methods to investigate potential fraudulent activity so that's basically what it's all about now let's look at the primary responsibilities the essential function you're going to investigate fraud claims submitted by staff review circumstances of fraud and claims for applicable laws and regulation draft and file fraud SAS. also reporting fraud trends what i'm trying to let you know here is everything right here none is technical so it means that you can actually apply now let's take a look at the required skill and experience uh these are the required skills and experience that they need right here experience with aml fraud system uh, very often preferred so what that means is that it is not mandatory it is preferred but if you don't have it that it's okay you can actually do it and this is the certification that they're looking for uh, that would also be an additional advantage for you to be able to get this role. Now let's take a look at the company website. This is the company website. Like I always say, you need to read about the company, read about the job, read the website. What are they asking for? What are the things that they're looking at? What do they do? And how can you help them solve their problem? with the position that you're applying for now let's take a look at the resume that will actually help you get a knock on the door of interview this is the resume um, another value that i bring to you is you can check the description you're going to see a link to this resume if you want to have a format of this resume or you want to copy it go straight below click the link and then copy the resume that will help you apply for the role well, you're only just going to need to change the details so you can see the name the city the zip code your phone number and your email and in my usual way if you're gracious enough add your linkedin uh, credential as well now this is professional summary these are the skills and now these are the experience that you need to have that if you have this particular resume this is going to get you an interview for a fact 100 percent all right so this is actually very description that we just have to quickly quickly take a look at this one here does not really need 
tons of explanation right this is just investigative role it's just for you to investigate anything that goes on in the company all right um yeah that is it so you can also check the link below to apply for this role you have the resume and you have the link as well but make sure you read about them now when you get called for interview it's very important that you understand everything you have in your resume as experience it is important that you know them make sure you read about them google about them put them in on youtube learn about them also here make sure you learn about this here like i used to tell you guys when you're looking at job uh, responsibilities or functions in everything that are common denominators and right here what we can see as common here is investigation so how do you investigate what is the process what do you do and what are the tools that you use these are the things that you need to know before interview all right guys i hope this is good for you uh, when you apply and you get the interview if you need help you can also contact me i'll be available to help you with interview as well i'm going to see you again tomorrow with another exciting role in cyber security that is non-technical and that is good for you and i will also help you with the resume and everything that you need to be able to get this job all right guys see you tomorrow